I'm here with Brent Arelli, and besides being a computer expert, he is a nurse by profession, and he would like to share about how God has gotten him into the Bible and as a prayer warrior and how that's impacted his work. Go for it. Uh, so about a year ago or so, uh, me and my wife started talking, um, which happens to be Dan's daughter, mm -hmm. and... Um, we were trying to figure, I was trying to kind of figure out where I was uh, spiritually. And uh, so I thought that maybe the best thing to do would be to start reading the Bible more frequently. Um, and I've read a lot of uh, paper, paper stuff in general, not just the Bible, but I, I started reading, um, getting into audio things. So I picked up the audio Bible and um, I started listening to it every day in the car. Um, I stopped listening to the radio completely, and any time I decided that I was going to go for a drive to the, you know, the movies to work, or um, you know, just down to the store or whatever, the radio stayed off, and I decided that that was the time that I would at least make some progress on getting into the audio Bible. So I would just play it and let it run until I got back home. And so I started doing this uh, on the way to work every day on the way to work. It's about a thirty-minute drive or so. And um, I started listening to my audio Bible all the way to work. And so um, that habit started forming, and I would do it repetitiously over and over. And then as time went on, I started to have prayer. Every time when I got to work, I'd, I'd park in my parking spot, I'd turn off the audio Bible, and I would say a prayer. And I would just, you know, include all my family and friends and say, you know, thank you, God, for, you know, being an awesome God. I go into work. And that became a new routine. And after that, I started having this like routine in the prayer that I did before I went to got into work. And it always seemed to in, uh, like end with, you know, uh, thank you for being an awesome God. And that started getting me like in my head. I would start singing the song, you know, my God is an awesome God. He reigns. And I would sing that for whatever reason, either in my head, sometimes out loud, like, from the moment I exited the car after my prayer all the way into work. And by the way, I've had like stress at work and stress was like, is just, I had difficulties going to work because I was stressed out about it and stuff like that. You know, nursing is a stressful job and just where I worked and stuff like that, it was just stressful. And so I was always hesitant to go to work and this, these kind of things were starting to like calm me down as I, I went into work. Time went on and I developed a new habit, like as I went into work um, and after I was done seeing these, uh, singing this amazing or, or awesome God song, the second I walked into the door of the hospital, there was three flights of stairs that I had to climb. And I decided that um, I was going to pray for everybody at the hospital on these three flights of stairs. So. Uh, on the first flight of stairs, I always pray uh, about everybody that's working at the hospital, all the, the nurses and the doctors and everybody else that, uh, that assists in taking care of our patients and making sure that they have uh, really strong uh, empathy and reflect God's character in their care and to take care of these patients. And on the next flight of stairs, I prayed for the patients. I don't know why I made it in this order. It's no real particular order, but it came to be my habit. I prayed for the, the patients next and said, you know, God, please send angels to watch over them, heal them if it's your will, um, and, you know, just be there to comfort them. And on the third flight of stairs, uh, I prayed for all their family members because we know and, and everybody's had family members in the hospital. We worry and we care about them. And it, it's just as taxing on Maybe not as taxing, but it feels taxing on us as loved ones when we see our loved ones, you know, in pain or hurting or in the hospital and stuff like that. So I always pray for them as well. And, you know, one of the things that after all that, that prayer would be finished and I would go up to the door and I'd, I, it was like this staircase was enclosed. And as soon as I opened the next door, I was in my domain. I was on my hospital unit. So I said one final prayer. Uh, before I went into the hospital, I always closed my eyes at that time because I'm not walking upstairs or anything like that. And I always took pit, three big deep breaths. Uh, that kind of helped calm me down a little bit, my anxiety levels and stuff like that. And I just asked God to come into my heart, help me to show a little bit of his light to my patients uh, that day. 
you know, ease my anxiety and send angels to be around me and care for me. Um, and then I opened the door and that is, uh, the way I started my shift pretty much, uh, every day for probably the past six months. And all those habits started about a year and they just built on one on top of each other. And so my anxiety level has decreased, you know, I felt more fulfilled going to work and I can totally see, uh, the changes that these, these habits and these prayers and, and God has done in my life. So Amen. that's pretty much it. Amen. Now you mentioned that one day you forgot, you forgot oh, to yeah. do it. What happened there? So, uh, I got out of the car. I had already listened to the audio Bible, but for whatever reason I was in a rush, probably because I'm typically not late at work, but there's traffic at times. And so I, I was probably getting close to getting late. So I jumped out of the car and I ran I was running or walking fast, and I realized I didn't pray before I got out of the car. And my habit was like, I got to go back. So I went all the way back to the car. I was probably about 30 seconds away from the car. I walked all the way back to the car, sat down, had my prayer, got out of the car, started singing. <laughs> you know, my God, it's awesome God again, and went on throughout the rest of the, the day. So that's... That's how that played out, and it was good. That's awesome. What would you say to somebody who thought, you know, I really don't have very many good Bible listening or reading habits or prayer. Where would I start? What should I do to get started? You know, I think the coolest thing was is I downloaded the Holy Bible on my phone, just the regular app. It may not be the best. Some people say, oh, I can't listen to the, that specific voice or whatever, but I just got into the habit, and I didn't think anything of the voice or what it sounded like. I just wanted to hear I wanted God to have the opportunity to present me with the information that he wanted me to hear. And so I got I got the audio Bible. And the thing with the, being in the car is it's a bunch of waste of time, really. I mean, you're just driving. And so that gives, that gives extra time for God. And I thought that, that if you're just starting and you feel like you're overwhelmed and don't know when, when or where to you know, spend time with God... That's time that you're not really doing anything mm. anyway. And so that's the opportunity to let him speak to you. So that was pretty cool. Awesome. What a great testimony and what a great son-in-law. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>